Hi Capricorn, welcome to your July. How do they feel? Next move in love messages, love tower reading. Capricorn, we're looking at the person on your mind, no matter the circumstance or situation, and you want to know how they're truly feeling at this time, what their next moves are going to be, what do they want to tell you, along with love messages as well. So we have the energy oracle here. Capricorn, we'll get you some opening messages with this deck, and then we'll jump into your read. But welcome in Capricorn. I hope you're all doing well. Staying safe and healthy at this time. If you are new or returning, welcome in and thank you. My name is Mary and this is Sunlight Inside Tell. All right, Capricorn, how do they feel at this time? Well, let us see. We have indecision, eight, which is, you know, usually putting in the work, action, travel, movement, door to value, 31, four, stability foundation, Fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael, 38, 12, 3, growth and expansion. That's the heart chakra. So there's a heart-based heart -based decision here they have to make. Rest and rejuvenation, 10, completion, endings, new beginnings. So definitely there's a lot of thinking and contemplating about a situation. For some reason, now we see somebody at a crossroads here. This person could have to make a decision. Do they go for money? Money, travel, luxury, moving away maybe? Or do they take the path and follow their heart, which could be the connection with you? So this person may definitely be at a crossroads. So maybe they have an opportunity here where, um, I mean, do have money here? Something about money or the heart-based connection with you. There's definitely a heart-based decision that they have to make here and they're definitely thinking about this with the rest and rejuvenation something they're really really contemplating about so you may know this i mean you, you may be with this person right now and maybe maybe you like well i gotta really think about this and maybe you just don't know what's going to happen or where this is going to lead to maybe they are taking the opportunity and money maybe it's going to be a long distance uh relationship and you may be worried about you know what's the future hold for our connection if we're going to be at a distance as well. So there, should, there could be some indecision too uh, on your part whether or not to continue a relationship if it's going to be long distance as well. Now it sounds specific so I could have to take it out what resonates. All right. There's definitely a choice point here but with that heart chakra that is definitely about love too. So money or love what what is it going to be? What is it going to be, Capricorn? We'll see. All right, Capricorn. So we have the Gilded Tower here. So I'm going to get your reading with this. And then to close it out later, we have some uh, love messages with that deck. All right. So how are they feeling about Capricorn right now? How are they feeling about Capricorn right now? Let's see. King of Swords. In reverse, though. Two of Wands. Oh, my gosh. The two of wands. That's the indecision right there. The crossroads. Wow. This person doesn't know what they want to, what they're going to do here. Justice. They know they need to do the right thing, though. Five of wands. They got a lot of conflict about this. Five of swords. So they feel like this threw in a big monkey wrench, sabotaged their life as they knew it, especially with the connection with you. That. You know, they know they need to do the right thing. They know they need to make the right choice. But they're highly conflicted about this. And King of Swords at Reverse, they don't even know what to do. They don't even know what to do. And they may not be communicating to you what they're thinking, what they're feeling about this big decision that they may have to make. Um, you know, if it's not about money or moving a try, I mean, it could be anything. But, I mean, we do have to art of value with money on it. I mean, they do see the value in the connection with you, too. So it's like, what do they do here? Now, they could have come from very challenging times in their life growing up, a very hard, hard uh, childhood. And maybe they're like, this is a moment for me to have success, victory, and accomplishment and not have to struggle, yet it may re ru ruin the heart-based love connection relationship I have with this person. So obviously, they have a big choice to make here if this resonates for you. So justice is all about doing the right thing. Now, maybe this person works in the justice system or it's about a uh, justice call of some kind or it's just about doing the right thing so let's see we have Gemini Libra right Capricorn let's see what's on the bottom of the deck yeah seven of swords so 
wow, five of swords, seven of swords, they feel like they got a big breakthrough here. I mean, they valued the connection with you. They're grateful for the connection with you. You know, they're grateful for that. But now this big opportunity and they feel like, why is life doing this to me right now? With the five of swords and the seven of swords, that's definitely what I'm feeling. They're stressed out here with the nine of swords. Eight of wands, though, is travel action. Communication is something that I feel like they do want to take action on, but they're definitely not doing it here with the Eight of Swords. Six of Pentacles is about balance, reciprocation. So they're trying to do this in a balanced way, and they definitely, um, I feel like they want to do the right thing. Boy, they do feel a great balanced connection with you. There's no doubt about that. Um... You may do a little unconventional. Maybe you've talked about moving in, being committed, but not really, like, married. I mean, a lot of people do that. My sister did that for, like, 30-plus years with her husband, quote, husband. <laughs> and they had a son, and then he passed away. He was a lot older than her. Um, but, yeah, they used to call each other husband and wife, but they never got married. You know, they wore rings and everything, but they just felt the need. They didn't need that paper, you know. So, anyway, you know, my nephew's, like, 30 be 34 I think uh, so you no know, love is love and how you live that love is totally up to the person in or people in the relationship so anyway okay Capricorn so let's see let's see Capricorn what else are they feeling about you Knight of Wands Six of Swords they may want you to t <laughs> five of cups they may have asked you to go with them and maybe you said no i can't do that i know there's something here about taking action and moving forward but then feeling sad about something here let's see three of cups very celebratory time king of pentacles so this could be about you know big opportunity to make a lot of money King of Pentacles is a very stable, grounded, trustworthy energy. They definitely feel like they want to be committed to you. However you live that commitment is totally up to the two of you, whatever that means for you. Definitely celebratory times here. But they also feel there may be a loss here. I mean, Six of Swords is about moving. So there's something definitely here about moving. And that's usually moving into peace, harmony, joy, love, and light. And Knight of Wands, something definitely feeling fiery and passionate about go get our energy wanting something to happen either way there's going to be a loss here so we got sag virgo virgo right there but i i just did virgo so i'm thinking i was going to say virgo this is capricorn but that could be you capricorn as well emperor wow this could be like a huge business corporation or something Page of Wands could have been that offer here. High Priestess. They're trying to figure this out on their own. I do feel that. Six of Wands. Again, with the success and victory in the Page of Pentacles. This is big. This is big for this person. But I do see Divine Counterpart. They feel like they're meant to be with you. You know, Divine Counterpart energy here. But, I mean, the Page of Wands, exciting. Page of Pentacles something maybe about money success victory here but there's they're keeping quiet because they just don't know what they're going to do here and it's also about following intuition are they going to choose love are they going to choose something else or are is it going to be a long distance relationship there's something here at play there's definitely a choice point because i kind of see two energies here too as well two ones up there wow okay all right. All right, Capricorn. Let's see what their moves are going to be. Let's see what their moves are going to be. What are they going to do? What are their moves going to be? Capricorn. What are their moves going to be? Capricorn. Let's see. Page of Swords. Communication. King of Wands. Three of Swords. Judgment. So they're, they, they are going to make a judgment call. We do have the judgment here. And the Nine of Wands in reverse. 
So it's about struggles are over. So there's going to be communication here. And this person stepping up, taking the lead. And making that judgment call. They're not struggling anymore. But there's something disappointing about this. So either they're going to be something something's going to be heartbreaking here so whether they give up a like an opportunity of a lifetime or and that's going to be heartbreaking for them or they're going to accept that and lose this connection and that's going to be heartbreaking as well there's definitely going to be heartbreak here somewhere but we do have the communication here about this oh boy capricorn so let's see we have um Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio. Let's see what's on the bottom. Page of Pentacles. Six of Wands. High Priest is showing up again. Nine of Cups and the Knight of Cups. See, there's a forward moment in love here. The Knight of Cups. Nine of Cups wish fulfillment. High Priest is following their intuition. Um, again, I feel like they've been keeping quiet about this, trying to do it on their own, figure this out on their own. But I feel like this person uh, is making a decision or they may come forward to you and say, okay, let's talk this through together and figure this out um, together. Can we do this together or what? Can we, can we make it work? So they definitely want to make this work some way, somehow. With the Page of Pentacles and the Six of Wands, success, victory. All right. All right, let's see. What else about their next move towards Capricorn? Their next move in general or towards Capricorn? What else do we need to know about this? Capricorn. Capricorn. And you see right here this person like on their knees like asking why why is this all happening this way now? Why? Ten of Wands, yeah, there was carrying the heavy load there. Empress in reverse. And they know you're not happy about this either. Queen of Cups reverse. Hmm. King of Cups. But we have two people in love here. But the energies just are off right now because of this whole situation. Ace of Pentacles reverse. They may turn down the money. They may turn down the money. Ace of Pentacles reverse because that's about money. Material things. They may follow their heart. And I think they know that you were worried about this, that they weren't going to follow their heart. And you they weren't going to choose you. And they may be knowing here that you were carrying that heavy burden too. Hmm. All right, we have Libra, Taurus, Cancer, Pisces. I just heard they could never choose anything else but you. Three of Pentacles, Growth and Expansion. Four of Cups. A lot of wondering here. And Confusion, Seven of Cups. But the Queen of Wands. We did see the King, Queen of Wands here. Powerhouse Couple. Page of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. So I kind of feel like here they they may take up the opportunity to... They may say, okay, let's see if this will work. So they may accept this. And do whatever they're going to do. To see if it will work. Uh, whether it's going to be now distance between you or something else. And if it doesn't work, I think they're going to come back and say, okay, then, you know, I can't be without you. So we have, we're going to figure this out. So, I mean, we do have a powerhouse couple here. So maybe you'll, you know, start your own business together or something like that. There could be that kind of opportunity as well. But I do see an offer here. Queen at once, definitely fire, passion, attraction, stepping up to the plate. Let's talk about this. Let's grow and expand on this. Let's clear confusion. Let's just not sit here and just wonder, wonder, wonder. Star is divinely guided energy. There's something that's going to work out here or come into balance and play out as part of your destiny with this person. Um, and I think it's going to take a lot of planning and talking it through. And, you know, trials and tribulations, I feel that's going to happen too. But something in the long run is going to work out for the two of you together right now it may not feel that way you know what i gotta pull more here what am i doing i gotta do one more line i'm like why does that look like there's cards missing um what they want to tell you oh my gosh okay capricorn what do they want to tell you at this time okay we'll take these ten of cups in reverse it's about not being happy about the whole situation seven of wands yeah they're feeling blocked challenged right now with this whole thing 
but they can't deny the chemistry, the balance, the soulmate energy between you, the alignment of your souls. It's, you, you two are just almost kind of like perfect together and they know that. Fool in reverse. They don't want to do anything foolish. And they want you to know that too. I don't want to make the wrong decision. I don't want to make a foolish decision either. Star. So, you know, there's some healing here. Wish fulfillment, happy, you know, happiness, joy, balance. Um, wish dream coming true, divinely got energy. I just feel like there's going to be, you either through talking this out, working this out together, you're going to find a solution and it's going to work out for the two of you. Whatever that means. Whether you come together and you work together as a powerhouse couple um, or you find some other way for them to live their dream or opportunity but in a different way i don't know very whatever that means but that's what i have here they don't want to do anything foolish that is for sure and they want you to know that they let's bring this into balance let's bring this into alignment let's figure this out let's do this we have to go through trials tribulations and we'll have to do that but there's something written in the stars for the two of you definitely here with the star energy i feel that so let's see we have aquarius Cards of Aquarius, Sag. Ace of Wands, Reverse. Exciting energy ahead. They're excited for something. But yeah, Devil here, there's definitely a lot of eating this up inside, eating them up inside about this whole situation. But we do have growth and expansion here. Again, a lot of wondering. And I feel like they were soul searching on their own here for quite a while. But it really didn't get them anywhere. But the sun is pure enlightenment. Happier times ahead. Maybe being an independent... Uh, you know, what do they call that? Independent um, freelancer or something like that. If that makes sense. But I think you're going to figure this out together. I do. And they do want to do that. I don't think they want to lose you either. That is for sure. All right. So let's see what love messages they have for you. Capricorn, if it does resonate, please do like, comment. All the great things would be greatly appreciated. And also my website's down below, so you can check that out too. Everything you need to know is on there, as well as in the description box. All right, Capricorn. So we've got the Twin Flame messages here from Mystic Moon. You don't have to resonate with that title. It's just I'm getting the messages from this deck. I miss the feel of you next to me. I feel a special bond with you I never felt before. Yeah, I felt that too. There could be a little bit distance right now. Uh, maybe they are exploring this other opportunity and it's just a trial, you know, and maybe they just really miss you right now. It's really hard for me to open up. Hmm. Yeah, I did feel a lot of them trying to figure this out on their own. Or trying to do the honorable thing. Yeah, did I say at the beginning, do the right thing? The justice card. I care too much what others think right now. So it could be something about their reputation as well. I really, It really was me, not you. Yeah. But all the signs are pointing to you lately. All right, Capricorn, that's what I... So I think whatever this this is, and you're, you just want to know how they're feeling, the next moves, and what's going to happen, I think it's all going to work out. There's going to be some sort of solution. Uh, something's written in the stars here. And I think you're going to work it out, figure it out, and um, good things going to come. All right, Capricorn, that's what I have for you. So I hope that helped that resonated. Again, everything you need to know is down below. I am wishing you the best, and I shall see you next time.